Hey, this is Paul from Wondershare Mobile Trends and technological advances are happening every single day around us and sometimes the pressure to keep up with that is always behind us, pushing us to buy new devices and that's the same with phones, in this case specifically Android phones. Whilst Android phones now last longer than ever before, there is always that pressure to update your phone every couple of years to make sure things like apps are still working on that device. The one thing that is irritating when you buy a new device though is the fact that you have to transfer data from your old device to a new one and today that's what the video is all about i will show you a couple of ways that you can transfer data from one android device over to another android device but of course before we get started if you're new here to mobile trans why not subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the videos that we upload to the channel and of course why not just give it a like whilst you're there as well but Let's get into today's video. Moving data from an old Android device to a new Android device can be massively irritating, but there are simple ways that you can actually do this. And one of them is something called Mobile Trans, which you might have heard of, but if you haven't, let me tell you what Mobile Trans is all about. Mobile Trans is a piece of software that facilitates and streamlines the sharing of information between two smartphones running Android, iOS or even Windows Phone. That means that if you've upgraded to a new Android phone, you can relax and use Mobile Trans knowing that all your old information will easily migrate over and that is what exactly I'm going to show you how to do now. So follow the next steps for a nice, simple, easy data transfer solution. The first step is to get the Mobile Trans program on your computer or on your Mac. Once Mobile Trans has been downloaded and installed, you need to then launch the program by double clicking its icon and go to the selection labelled Phone Transfer and then select Phone to Phone. To begin the process, both devices need to be connected to the computer, one being the source and one being the destination device, so make sure you have them both in the right place. If you need to flip them, you can just do so by clicking that flip button in the middle of the screen. Then just hit start and sit back and enjoy and this will take care of everything for you by moving over all of your data from an old Android device to a new Android device and it should only take a few minutes for the process to complete and when it has you can go and have a look on your device and see all of that data that has been transferred over to the new phone. Our second method here is to use Bluetooth to transfer that data from one device to another. Now, Bluetooth has been around for quite a long time on phones and it's been used for years to transfer data from one device to another, but it delivers that information through radio waves and has to be in close proximity to the device that you want to send that data. So, let me show you how you can use Bluetooth to make sure you send some of that data from an old device to a new device. You first need to locate the Bluetooth functionality on your device and that's by going to the settings and going to Bluetooth and making sure that Bluetooth is switched on. The next thing you need to do is go to the connections part and this might be labeled differently on your device but it's still the same process. You need to make sure that Bluetooth is on on both of those devices and then make sure that each of those devices can find each other. Then just make sure you select the phone name and sometimes a key will be necessary. To successfully link two devices, just enter the key which appears on the devices and just click accept and those two devices will pair. To transfer information from one Android to another, you need to launch the file manager and navigate to the desired folder and choose the data that you want to share. Click the menu button and tap the share icon. Then all you need to do is make sure you select that Bluetooth symbol and the Bluetooth interface will become available. Select the Android device that was associated with your device previously and then it will start to transfer over from one device to another. But both those devices need to be kept as close together as possible. Bluetooth, like I mentioned earlier, has been around for years and can be quite slow when moving data from one device to another, but it does do the job. However, let me show you another method. Sending data over wirelessly from one Android device to another is actually possible and it is done through Nearby Share and that facilitates the transfer of bigger data files from one Android to another 
just using NFC. Using this means that you can transfer data a little bit quicker and you can do those bigger files from one Android device to another just using the devices themselves without the need for a computer. So let me show you exactly what you would need to do this. Ensure that both devices support NFC and to see if your device supports NFC, navigate to settings, press wireless, then networks, then pick share and connect. There will be an NFC option, switch it on and repeat on that second device. If both smartphones are NFC equipped, then go and select nearby share and utilize it to access all the data you wish to transfer from one Android device to another. Select the data and then initiate that procedure. Next, you will receive both audible or haptic confirmation on the connections between the two devices when it is successful. Once the beaming is complete, you will get an audible or haptic alert and that will signal that that transfer has finished. But sometimes this can be a little bit irritating to do, so we want to give you another method as well, and this next one might just be for you. When you want to send data from one Android device to another, have you thought about using Gmail or other messaging apps? Because this is something that can work really effectively. And let me quickly show you how you could do this. Find the file that you want to send and click share. Within that share panel, you can then select that Gmail option then compose the message and send it to potentially yourself or a new email address that can then be accessed on that new device. Before we go, let me show you one last method, which is as simple and easy as the previous ones. Using a Google account is yet another alternative to what I've already shown you, and this is as simple as the other methods. So just follow what I say next for a nice simple fix. Navigate to the backup and reset page by accessing the Android device's settings and navigating to the backup and reset page. Choose backup my data and enable it. Google will backup all of that information. Sign into the receiving Android smartphone with the same Google account as you use the backup on the other Android device. Then just select the option to restore from backup. This will restore your entire data. And it is that simple. So we have shown you quite a few methods on how you can move that data from one device to another, but some of them have their drawbacks. For example, using Bluetooth and the other wireless method is sometimes a little bit slow and sometimes it can fail, which then becomes irritating. However, if you were to use mobile trans, you have no chance of failing with that data transfer. Mobile trans is better in so many aspects. It is fast, you can do more file types, it's safe and is easy when compared to the other methods that we've shown you in this video. Therefore, this comes out on top as a complete file transfer solution. And that brings us to the end of today's video. But before we go, let me just tell you quickly about the campaign that we're running here on Mobile Trans. You can win some great prizes by participating in our giveaway. And to win the prize, you just need to follow both accounts and leave a comment on this video. Then a winner will be randomly selected from Gleam. And the first prize goes for $800. The second prize is $100 for two people and third prize is five licenses for Dr. Phone and Mobile Trans combined. This campaign is coming to an end on the 31st of December so you better get your chance in to win now as you don't have long left. So good luck if you enter that campaign, my fingers are crossed for you. But before we finish today, if you enjoyed the video, why not subscribe, like the video, and of course, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss anything that we upload to the channel. But if you do all of that, then we will see you in the next video.